So I get a lot of questions about solo travel and what I wanted to tell you is what no one really talks about. Um, I uh, got a lot of response to my last tips on solo travel and so I wanted to continue by going a little bit deeper into if you have the feeling that you want to go on a trip just do it. Don't hold yourself back. Don't wait for someone to break up with their boyfriend. Don't wait for anyone to quit a job. Don't wait for... <laughs> just don't wait. I mean, we don't have that much time, people. So what you want to do is live your dreams before you get the opportunity taken away from you by death. Um, and that really spurs me on. Uh, when I started in 2005, uh, there weren't very many people. I didn't know anybody that was traveling by themselves. Um, and um, I started at, what, age 50. So listen, you can do it at any age. You don't have to be a specific age. You don't have to go with people. But what I wanted to uh, say was I, I saw this video, um, no, it was a comment in a blog about uh, this girl was staying in her room in Barcelona and she was too afraid to go out to dinner or out of her room. <laughs> so I wanted to address that because, you know, especially in Europe, probably about the worst thing that could possibly happen is to be pickpocketed, but you just have to really, um, know where your stuff is at all times and um, have it securely put away don't have it out on display like I you can hide things in pockets and socks and have secret pockets made and and so forth um, and not walk around with a lot of money and not uh, walk around with your camera showing all the time and and it's not you know, you just, you can't put things down and leave them there. So you just have to be smart about that. And the thing about being on your own that no one ever tells you is that it's actually fun because you end up meeting more people because you go outside your comfort zone and you start talking to people. You start to not be so concerned about the reaction that you get from people if they don't want to talk to you because that's their right they might uh, not want to but it doesn't matter there's so many people to talk to there's seven billion people in the world <laughs> so just remember that there's gonna be someone that thinks you're interesting um, and it's a form of self-love just to love yourself enough to take yourself away on a dream vacation so um, or change it to be your lifestyle. Um, so I wanted to address that about the courage part because um, there's no, um, you know, especially Europe and places where there's a lot of solo travels, there's a lot of travelers, there's a lot of um, people from uh, Western countries that are traveling and there's a, there's a traveling culture. Um, so, you know, don't pick like India or something more difficult, a country that's harder to go to the first time by yourself. Um, because it takes practice and it just, it's more about your confidence level. If you feel like you want to go somewhere, here's a big tip. Get your first night set. Um, so that when you land in a new city, you've got a place to stay, you have an address, you just go there and then you just um, look around that neighborhood. If it doesn't feel right, you can always leave the next day. So I don't like to make huge decisions online until I get there, but I've gotten, so I can do that in Europe, but I wouldn't do that in Asia because you never know what you're going to get until you get there. You want to check the Wi-Fi and all these other things too, so you can stay connected, but it's a lot easier in Europe. And um, so try one of those countries first. Go to Italy, go to um, a Mediterranean island, go to Greece, um, go to England, and you're gonna have an absolutely great time. So questions below, um, visa situations and all that, that's another topic, but um, pretty much any country that you're gonna wanna go to in Europe is gonna be visa on arrival, so you don't have to do anything ahead of time. Um, and if you want to stay longer in Asian countries, then okay, yeah, you're going to have to do something ahead of time. But anyway, have fun, be safe, and enjoy. 
and let me know where, where you want to go and just any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.